Hello, Dumelang, San Bonani, Molueni, and a warm welcome to the Maths Genius Video Tutorial Series brought to you by SABC Education. In these tutorials, we help you unleash the mathematical genius in you by showing you key mathematical concepts and how you can master them for success like a true genius. Today we're going to be looking at the roots of numbers. So, one thing you have to know is that when we say, what is the root of a certain number? What is the root of, say for example, of four? What are we asking when we say root? Right, but now, what kind of root? Because if you just say root, it's inadequate. Is it the square root? Is it the cube root? Is it the fourth root or the sixth root? So in this case, let us specify and say the square root, right? The square root. So when we're saying the square root, we're saying which number can multiply itself two times so that we get four. So I'm saying, let's call the number, let's call it M, right? Let the number, the unknown number, be M, right? If it's M, then we're saying M times M will give us four. Because we're saying the square root, square root means that your, it multiplies itself how many times? Two times. So in other words, we're saying m squared is equal to 4. So, what is m? What is m, right? Now, what you do is that you're going to use the method of prime factorization to try and find the square root of, uh, of 4, right? So, 4, here we've got 4. What is the prime factor of 4? The first one that we know is what? Is 2. So we'll use two. two. Four divided by two will give us two. Two is a prime number, so it divides as well, and you get one. So in other words, we're saying four can be written as two times two, which is the same as saying two squared. Therefore, corresponding to our m, we're saying two squared is equal to four. So that means that the square root of four is equal to two. That is how you do it when you're using the ladder method. Let's try another, another, another problem again. Let's try 16. Right, 16. So because of the rules of divisibility, 16 is an even number, so that means that it's a multiple of 2. So I'm going to use 2 because it's a prime factor of 16. So 2 into 16, it will give us 8. It's still even, so we can divide by 2. 2 into 8, 4, 2 into 4, 2, 2 into 2, 1. So, what we have now is a situation where we have, um, how many 2's do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equal to 16. So what we've done here is we've expressed 16 as a product of its prime factors. So if you look at it carefully, you'll find that this is 2 times 2, which is 2 squared, times 2 squared, which is 16. 2 squared times 2 squared, which is 16. And if you know your laws of exponents, they say that if the base is the same, and you can add the what? The exponents, right? So it's 2 to the power of 4, is equal to 16. So these are the different th ways that we can write uh, 2 as a product of its what? Of its exponent. But remember, if we're looking for the square root, the power has to have, has to be in relation to 2. So in this case, it will be 2 to the power of 2 squared. Or 2 times 2 will give us the what? The, the 4, so it's equal to 16. Therefore, our m in this case would be equal to 2 squared, which is 4. So with practice, you don't need to go through all these steps. Here it was for illustrate, illustrative purposes to say you can write 16 
as a product of its prime factors in that way, or you can group them as uh, squares, or you can group all of them using the, square, uh, the laws of exponents. So this is how you do the square root of 16. So once you've, you've known about the square root, you can even look at now the cube root. The cube root. So I'll use eight, right? Eight to calculate the cube root. So what do we mean by cube root? We're saying which number can multiply itself three times to get eight? Which number can multiply itself three times to get eight? So m times m times m would be m cubed, which is equal to eight. So we're going to use the same method of prime factorization, where we say eight is even, so two is a prime factor, you get four, two into four, two, two into two, one. So if you look, how many twos do we have? Three of them, right? So two times two times two equal to eight, meaning that two to the power of three equal to eight. So once we've done this, now we know the number that multiplies itself three times to get eight, which is two. Therefore, the cube root, the three represents the cube, the cube root, right? Cube root of eight is equal to two. So you can do this with any number that is a perfect cube. You can use the ladder method and get the answer. I hope you understand how to use the, the ladder method to get the square root and the cube root. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Unleash your mathematical genius today. If you have any maths questions, you can post them for free on www.mathsgenius.co.za or email them to info at mathsgenius.co.za.